how to identify a control loop in the piping and instrumentation diagram. In this piping instrumentation diagram, you see a flow controller, and the elements of this flow controller are the measurement device. In this case, we have uh, orifice plates to do the measurement of the flow. We have some manual valves, and we have the flow transmitter that is responsible to send the information for the PLC where we find the controller and the signal from the controller is sent for a control valve that is responsible for opening and closing for reaching the desired set point. Here we can see that for reading a pipe instrumentation diagram you must be familiar with the nomenclature so here we have FE that represents the flow element. It is the element responsible for doing the measurement of the, the variable. We have the FT that represents the flow transmitter. And as I told you, sends the signal for the PLC. We have here the FIC, flow indicator controller. So this signal goes to the PLC not only for informing the, the value of the, the flow that is measured in the field, but also for controlling some device to have the desired variable in, at the set point. Here you can see also the H and L, they represent alarms associated for this controller. So if the flow is, is high, the operator will send, will receive a signal or an alert in the control room talking about that, alert, alert them about that. We have a low alarm, so if the flow is low, according to the set point, the, the operator will also receive an alert at the control room to know about that. And we have here a totalizer, so we have a flow quantification indicator and this quantification is done inside the PLC and this is a signal of data. The dashed line represents a signal of electrical, uh, electrical signal that sends to a, a converter, a signal converter that goes to the actuator of the control valve. This is a FV, a flow valve. In some cases, you can find this nomenclature as FCV or flow control valve. And we have here a solenoid to actuate faster the, the, the valve in a case of uh, incident, accident or something that is important to the fast shutdown of the valve. That's why we have the SD here as a signal going to uh, uh, I that represents a safety interlock. So here we see a control loop and how it looks like. 